getting in touch with the universe, connecting with the universe. I've been lucky to be involved in a project for the last eight or so years that concerns getting in touch with the Earth. It's about the barefoot revolution. I am very fortunate as a scientist, it's rare that a scientist gets involved in a project that can affect the lives of literally millions of people around the world. So it's quite an honor and a privilege to work on this and try it out. It's free and if you don't feel well or if you don't like jet lag, uh, just take your shoes and socks off and go outside and stand barefoot in the grass for 15 minutes if you have an asthma attack, if you ate too much and have a bloated stomach and on and on and on and you will see uh, more about this in a minute. The barefoot story is about deficiency of electrons and most of us are most of the time deficient in electrons and uh, so I'm going to explain what that means. And, <clears throat> and before recent times we walked and slept directly on the earth or on things like um, hides, animal hides, which are semiconductors, they're made out of collagen and uh, connected us to the earth or we wore moccasins which were also conductive. Barefoot is natural. Rubber and plastic shoes came in 50 or so years ago. They disconnected us electrically from the earth and this is a problem. Look at how close this person is from the moist sand, from being connected to the earth, the whole of the earth, which is conductive, especially near seawater. She is about an eighth, about a sixteenth or eighth or maybe a quarter of an inch away from a very healthy experience. Attractive maybe? Good for you? Probably not for many reasons. So grounded or earth, this is Mr. Shoes, he doesn't look too happy, this is Mr. Barefoot, the tree, the dog. Grounded or earth means that we are connected to the surface of the earth and its abundant supply of electrons. This is natural, uh, the electrons spread over and into our bodies, they stabilize our internal electrical environment, everything works better. These electrons flow continuously from the sun to the ionosphere, via the solar wind to the ionosphere. Um, they come to the earth in the form of lightning or thunderbolts and they continuously supply the surface of the earth. When we are barefoot, these electrons come into our body and do very good things. Electrostatics teaches us that when two conductors with different electrical potentials touch each other, there's an instantaneous transfer of charge so that the objects become equally charged. And the body is a conductor of electricity and so is the earth except in very dry places like the desert. And there's a point on the bottom of the foot, on the ball of the foot known in acupuncture parlance as kidney one ideally placed there by the goddess when she designed the foot so that every step we take connects with the earth. And that point connects through the meridian system to every nook and cranny within the body. The connection is via the meridian system, via the skin and mucous membranes which you can trace into the respiratory system, the thin membranes in the alveoli and then into the blood um, via the circulatory system, the mucous membranes that connect with your whole digestive tract and via the blood. So these electrons go everywhere and reach into every nook and cranny including the cells in the living matrix. How does connecting with the earth affect us? What does that do for us? People have known for a long time that it feels good to go barefoot. Um, women who work in the garden and have their hands in the soil know that the, it's a good thing to do, it feels good, it's a good connection. What we have done, about a dozen scientists working over the last few years, is find out why, why it feels good. 
Here are the discoveries, and this is the order that we made the discoveries. First of all, sleep improves. Millions of people have insomnia. Connecting to the earth seems to, for most people, be a cure for for insomnia. People sleep better because they have less pain. They have less pain because they have less inflammation. They have less inflammation because the electrons from the earth are nature's antioxidant. They are the best treatment for inflammation. People relax. This has been um, discovered to be due to changes in the autonomic nervous system that happen virtually instantaneously when you touch your feet to the earth. Accelerated healing of injuries. If you hurt yourself, get your bare feet onto the earth. Increased heart rate variability, a um, measure which is an indicator of longevity. Less clumping of red blood cells, recently less blood viscosity. This is profoundly important. Heart disease is the number one killer in the world. If you or any of your loved ones have a cardiovascular issue, of course, see the doctor and get your shoes and socks off and get, get them barefoot on the earth. This can prevent cardiovascular problems. It can uh, help if a person has these problems. The reason for that is that virtually every aspect of cardiovascular disease is connected to blood viscosity. When the blood becomes viscous, the heart has to pump harder, the blood pressure goes up, the heart gets enlarged, um, and so on. Many, many disturbing things happen, and grounding to the earth takes care of that. In terms of sleep, connecting the body with the earth during rest, and this is a mattress that has a sheet that has conductive carbon or silver fibers in it. The fibers connect to a wire that either goes through the wall or out the bedroom window to a rod stuck in the earth. My job is to explain, like you have many simple explanations for people, people's problems that they can't seem to solve, my challenge is to explain how something as simple as this can have such a profound effect on your health. And basically the mechanism is that when you're connected to the earth, the cortisol rhythm normalizes. If you have elevated cortisol at night, you can't sleep. And after earthing, uh, the cortisol rhythm normalizes, people sleep better, and it's fantastic. This is a a case of a, uh, this is called thermal amputation. These are medical infrared uh, images that show the temperature of the skin. This is uh, thermal amputation. The, the, The fingers are so cold that you can't even get an image. And sleeping on one of these systems for only four nights, the circulation returns, the pain goes away, and it's that quick. And here's another case. This, in this case, this woman came in with a cane, limping. She had a, an accident six years before. She has inflammation in her knees. Her knees were very painful. This patch, conductive patch, placed on her knee, attached to a wire that went out the window to a rod in the ground. After 30 minutes of sitting like that, she said, well, nothing happened. Then she stood up. Oh my goodness, my pain is gone. And she went dancing for the first time in six years. So that's how quickly um, electrons can do the job. Injuries heal much faster. This is uh, from the Tour de France. This was uh, the sprocket wheel cut into this person's leg. This is one day after the injury. This is day two. If you're familiar with injuries like this, they don't heal that fast. It's, it's absurd how, how fast it is. And the basic discovery is that if you connect to the earth, you connect the injury or connect your feet or connect any part of your body to the earth, as soon as you can after an acute injury, 
uh, the conventional signs of inflammation are greatly diminished or may not even occur at all. And these are the classical, the pillars of inflammation, heat, redness, swelling, pain, loss of function. That's been the hallmark of inflammation for thousands of years. It doesn't have to happen. I've been lucky to be involved in a project for the last eight or so years that concerns getting in touch with the earth. It's about the barefoot revolution. I am very fortunate as a scientist Getting in touch with the universe, connecting with the universe, well, or if you don't like jet lag, uh, just take your shoes and socks off and go outside and stand barefoot in the grass for 15 minutes if you have an asthma attack, if you ate too much and have a bloated stomach, and on and on and on, and you will see just it's rare that a scientist gets involved in a project that can affect the lives of literally millions of people around the world. So it's quite an honor and a privilege to work on this and try it out. It's free and if you don't feel well, uh, more about this in a minute, the barefoot story is about deficiency of electrons. And most of us are most of the time deficient in electrons. And, uh, so I'm going to explain what that means. And. <clears throat>